Hello everybody, today I going to show you how to activate and deactivate Mazda electronic parking brake maintenance mode for the rear brake pad replacement. First we need to switch on the ignition. Press brake. Then perform a normal parking brake released. Once it released, let go the brake pedal. Turn off the ignition. Press twice to turn the ignition back on. Now we need full press the gas pedal and press the EPB switch and hold it, and then press the push start button three times. Now you can hear the EPB motor reversing noise. The EPB maintenance mode indicator light will on, once it's successful activated. Let go the gas pedal and EPB switch. Turn the ignition off. OK. The maintenance mode is successfully activated. We can start the rear brake pad replacement now. A few moments later. After the rear brake pad replacement, we need to deactivate the maintenance mode. Switch on the ignition. Press the gas pedal and hold it. Pull the EPB switch and hold it, not press. Now press the push start button three times. You can hear the EPB motor turning noise. The maintenance mode indicator light will turn off once deactivated. Now you can let go the EPB switch and gas pedal. Test the EPB function, make sure it works fine. The EPB function works fine now. Let's check with engine start and make sure without any fault indicator light. OK. The meter show normal. Everything works normal now. If you wish to get more accurate inspection, you can plug in the diagnostic scan tools to check the EPB system. Now we are using iScan 3E to do a diagnostic scan. This is the latest product from Autoland. It has few customized patches from the normal diagnostic function, advanced module programming function, or IMS2 dealer diagnostic function. Please feel free to contact us for any further information. Let's start with Enter Diagnosis. The apps is starting. Select Asian. Search for the Mazda logo and enter. Select the diagnostic, programming is for the module change function, or the parameters change function. Select Mazda OBD2. The Mazda diagnostic software is starting. This is the diagnostic connector information. Press enter. Now the iScan 3E is doing an auto vehicle identification. Please wait for a moment. The Mazda auto identification is read out from the engine control module. If the auto identification is failed, please check the ignition status, OBD2 connection or related control module connection. The vehicle identification is ready. Press enter. Short test is to read out all the module available in this vehicle and show you a short test result. But it will take some time. For our diagnostic condition, we only need to read EPB and ABS. We will choose Diagnostic Automatic to select the module individually. EPB and ABS is under Traction System. Please read the fault code in EPB system. No fault code in the EPB system. Now we go to the data stream to check the parking brake status. Please wait for the data stream to read out. Search for the left-right electronic parking brake actuator position and the switch status. Releasing the EPB now. Applying the EPB now. The status for the EPB works in normal condition. Now we exit and enter the ABS system. Read the fault code in ABS system. No fault code in the ABS system. OK. The EPB and ABS system is in excellent condition now. These are the step for the Mazda EPB activate and deactivate maintenance mode. If you still have any problem with the guidance, please feel free to contact with us. If you like the video, please help like and share. Please follow our Facebook page and subscribe our YouTube channel for get more latest information. Thanks for watching.